All right, back again with Project Electrolyte, the 1972 Plymouth Satellite Tesla swap. And it's alive. This moved out of my garage under its own power. I uh, got a lot done recently, and uh, it's moving right along. So last time I built the front lower box, which was uh, lowered into the front key member and uh, secured. Now I had to work on the rear battery box in the trunk and another one in the front uh, on the top, so the top box. This rear box is a nice location because it fits deep in the trunk. This is kind of a trunk that's split in the middle, so it has a, a lower area below the deck lid. And so I was able to utilize this space. Uh, I even had to space it up a little bit to get the dimensions just right. So these are sitting on two and a half inch square aluminum tube. And then I've got an aluminum sheet as the bottom of the box. And there's plenty of room to fit three of these modules side by side. So I'll have a stack of three, or uh, two stacks of three. So it'll be two by two by two. Because this is in the trunk, now I can uh, kind of hole cut the sides and the supports because it doesn't need to be waterproof, save a little bit of weight, and uh, able to start fitting these up. So I started with the three modules in the bottom, and since they will be too high, they'll have rails to support them all. The nice thing about these center supports is I can have an angled uh, half inch aluminum riveted in so that will uh, allow me to bolt down these modules to those rails for uh, support in all directions, front to back, side to side, uh, so they'll be very secure. The tricky part was the plumbing. Uh, this front box, when it's just a stack of six, I just ran the rails up, and you have one side that's an input, one side that's an output to all of the cooling loops in the modules. But when they're two by two by two, I had to make kind of a ladder manifold to make the main connections a little easier. So if you look close, the bottom rail has uh, a manifold entry on the right and then towards the left. The upper rail is the opposite, so the feed goes in, the bottom comes out the top, and uh, those are my main connections. And then every other uh, little manifold with the fittings is either a feed or return, and that allowed me to have uh, even parallel flow to all the, the dual cooling loops on these uh, Tesla modules. You can see while it's in the back here, that's the back side where the cooling loops will connect. And I've got uh, fittings and tubing that's rated for the temperature and type of coolant that I'm using. And then it's just one main connection in and out. Uh, the out uh, does a final return through the charger before it returns to the radiator. Um, which actually turned out pretty well. The nice thing about this ladder style manifold is it's uh, structural. This is one inch um, aluminum that's all welded uh, in a ladder form here, so it just became the back of the box. The sides are uh, open, and uh, then you can see it, it became a nice structural box now with angled shelves. Now I can place the modules on top of these mica sheets, which are on the bottom as a liner. That's what Tesla uses in there. Uh, battery pack in the car and so I'll separate each module with that mica sheet as an insulator and then as they uh, lay down in there you can see how the tubes fit so it's just like the box I had in the front it's just uh, shorter manifolds that are then connected uh, side to side these fittings are an o-ring type fitting that clip on to a little boss that's uh, built into the battery module and then I'm using the um, bus bars from Stealth EV and uh, it's a negative terminal on the left to the positive on the right. So uh, this left module is the most negative of the pack. It'll go up to the one above it and then I use a kind of a jumper uh, cable to the next stack. And then uh, as you're assembling, you have to plug in the BMS wires just because clearance it has to be done at once. But first you have to sort all these wires out, uh, tag them. So I, I numbered the end of each wire using the, uh, the pinout from the Orion BMS uh, manual. And then I also added the white wires, which are thermistor wires. So there's grounds and signals for the, uh, the thermistors and I built those into the same harness because a couple of those wires go to each connector. Each battery module has 
uh, one of these connectors on it. And then uh, this is kind of the final look before I cover it up. So you've got the bus bar, um, you've got the uh, two-aught, I uh, call it a jumper wire, just going from the lug of the, the positive down to the lower negative and so on, kind of starts left to right. Um, nominal voltage here, you're looking at about 150 volts. And then uh, that goes into that orange contactor and bus bar box. So I'm able to put a disconnect and it's in the middle of the pack since this is an isolated loop of about uh, 400 volts once it's done, you can break that loop anywhere. And so on the right side here, you can see this is the positive wire coming into that uh, round cylinder. That's the cutoff switch. And then it will continue to the front boxes uh, before it comes back to the bus bar, which you see the copper bus bar on the top here. Um, so you can disconnect that whole bus bar when you're working on this box. Also on the way to the front, I needed a uh, place for the fuse. So I'm using a Tesla pyro fuse. I 3D printed this box out of ABS. It has uh, holes printed into it for these uh, waterproof glands. And then I printed a lid that'll be uh, securely attached inside. There's another uh, component that uh, holds this fuse. It's uh, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches thick. So um, I had to line it up so that when the wire comes in with the connector, everything is uh, a straight in. So this is not only another disconnect point, um, but it's a handy place to make junctions. So you can't, it's hard to have one wire run from the last module all the way to a module up front. So this makes a nice disconnect, separating the battery packs uh, if I need to uh, remove them or service them in the future. So now I needed the front upper box and uh, this is two stacks of two side by side. So I made that same style ladder manifold. This one does need to be waterproof. So this one is all fully welded um, and it'll have a, a lid, um, probably gonna have a plexiglass window in this lid with some lighting, but uh, the whole bottom perimeter and sides are all waterproof, welded solid. And then the, uh, it's got the center support, just like the rear box did. It's got the rails to mount the modules to. And this box is actually bolted to the lower box, which had some mounting ears that I left uh, for support. Uh, it kind of has a, a rake downward. It slants back towards the, uh, the firewall and uh, plenty of room. It's staggered from the lower box, so with the radiator in place, there's pl plenty of room for airflow. Uh, the fans are below this box. And then loading the battery modules into it. I actually have two battery modules that are bad. One had a cracked coolant manifold and one, the center of the battery support is cracked. I've got them all installed right now, but uh, I will be swapping a couple of them out. Uh, on the left, you can see there's an orange wire. That's the wire leaving this box going back to the back uh, to the main bus bar. I re-made uh, a uh, switch panel at the bottom of my dash here uh, because I wanted it to go all the way across and house a PWM module for my air conditioning. I got some dimmers there, the adjuster for my power steering. And so uh, that's all operational. And now I rolled it out of the garage on its own power uh, with the full battery pack connected. Um, I wanted to make sure the Tesla unit would, would move. So I, I rolled the wheels on my lift and then rolled it outside. And my neighbor saw me taking pictures and said, let's go for a ride. So uh, this is my security camera. He sat on the floor, my seat's not bolted in, the hood is still sitting on the car, but uh, what the heck, off we go. And uh, we drove it all the way around the block and it made its way back and I didn't lose anything off the roof. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So making big progress, still a lot to go though. I got the full interior to install. I've got all new glass I'm putting in. Got to swap out those battery modules and uh but we're getting close uh, get some alignment done some more adjustments uh, bleed the brakes a little better and we'll be ready to do some burnouts see you next time